If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Patreon. If you want exclusive content, if you want behind the scenes footage, if you want your music or product on this show, the best way to do that is on Patreon. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Lil Wayne just got hit with federal gun charges, and Meek Mill gets banned from his own city of Philly. Plus, Key Glock and Little Migo go back and forth against each other on Instagram. Let's talk hip hop. Alright, Joe, this is crazy, right? So, Lil Wayne just got uh, hit with felony gun possession, right? Um, so the whole situation is that back in December of 2019, I don't know if y'all remember, but Lil Wayne's uh, jet got searched, right? He was trying to fly to California, but he made a stop in Miami, and when he landed in Florida, in Miami, in the airport, uh, the authorities just decided to search uh, Lil Wayne's private jet. He was a passenger on that private jet, so there were other business people there too, right? Um, but on the jet, they found a bunch of stuff, a bunch of drugs, guns, and a whole bunch of things. Now, those drugs and a lot of that stuff belong to other people that were on the private jet. But in Lil Wayne's luggage, though, they did find a gold-plated handgun, right? And some bullets, right? And here's the situation. Lil Wayne never pulled out his gun. He never brandished it. He never waved it at nobody. There's not even... Ballistics reports are showing that the gun had never even been fired, right? So it's not like Lil Wayne is a dangerous person. And if Lil Wayne was just a regular person who had that gun, he would be okay but the thing is that 10 years ago, 11 years ago, back in New York, um, he got caught with a gun and actually did like seven months at Rikers Island for that. So he's a convicted felon behind having a gun charge. So he's not allowed to possess a gun at all. And then he had a gun. So that is the situation there, right? So even though this search of his private jet happened damn near a year ago back in December 2019 and right now it's November 2020 they are hitting him with the felony of charge now right um, so he's not arrested or anything like that he's not in jail but now he has to go to court next month to plead guilty or not guilty or whatever the case may be right now Lil Wayne has money he has lawyers, he's a multi-millionaire, so I'm sure that he'll probably be able to beat this case, uh, but the whole situation, it is gonna cost him some money to beat the case, and it's just uh, another headache for Wheezy F Baby, right? Um, but let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. show so meek mill uh, aka twitter fingers is back on twitter right so all right about a week and a half ago he just said yo pretty soon everybody's gonna have to start picking a side because there's too much real shit going on to be cool with everybody right um and okay fine yeah he has a, his opinion and he can say whatever he wants right but then yesterday um i guess he was probably thinking about you know uh king von being killed in atlanta right and he was probably thinking about mo3 being killed in dallas and i'm sure he was thinking Thinking about you know Nipsey Hussle and Pop Smoke, right? Um, and yeah, you know Meek Mill is not from Brooklyn or you know LA or uh, you know Chicago or Atlanta or Dallas, where all of this stuff is happening from. Meek Mill is from Philly, right? And just like all these other places and all these other hoods in the world, in Philly, a lot of things and violence are going on uh, between black people too, right? So Meek Mill is thinking about his own city and he's like, listen, I'll get the main big artist in Philly a, a record deal. He's like, I will get y'all a deal if you put the bodies behind you and you squash the beef. I'll be hearing about it, he says. There's a lot of young dudes from the city that got a lot of talent, but y'all just beefing too much, right? Then Meek Mill goes on to say, uh, and when I say put the bodies behind you, you, I mean your friends and your family that you lost. That's what I'm saying, right? And then he says, and that's just an idea. I'll push through my city uh, and make this a thing. It's like five cliques that are all talented, but they are too deep in the hood and they always get the most attention when they're beefing, right? So, you know, when I saw this, I thought it was cool because I'm like, all right, Meek Mill is trying to use his influence and the fact that he's a rapper and the fact that he came from this same kind of street life to stop these people from killing each other, right? Um, but not everybody thought the same thing. So a bunch of people on Twitter from Philly were like, yo, shut the fuck up, Meek Mill. Who are you to say anything? Uh, I'm not going to sit in a room with another nigga knowing that he killed my friend. Like, all kind of stuff, right? Even a rapper named uh, Poundside, uh, uh, Poundside Pop from Philly um, actually retweeted Meek Mill's old tweet that he did a week and a half ago 
and said, you know, and had some comments on it. So Meek Mill, a week and a half ago, said, pretty soon everybody gonna have to pick a side. It's too much real shit going on, right? Downside Pop said, Meek Mill, it's time for you to pick a side. Is you zoo or not, nigga, right? Then Meek Mill is all in the comments talking about, I ain't picking no side, nigga. It's 18th Street. You letting the walk hit you too hard, fam. Everybody got my number two. You young bulls be losing your mind off them drugs, Meek Mill said. Then he goes, 18th Street, right? Say no more. What? Um, and then he says, I ain't no fucking zoo gang, nigga, right? Um, and then people keep getting at Meek Mill. They're trying to expose him. They're saying, how was you born in South Philly, but you grew up in North Philly? How you claim in North Philly? You really from South Philly? Uh, you the first nigga that's from South North Philly? Matter of fact, you banned from Philly altogether. Look at this op loving shit right here. Oh, my God. This is some op loving shit. You is from 63rd, bro. Whatever that is. Not from North, bro. Not from North, bro. You banned, bro. What Damn. is wrong with this bull? Damn, nigga. We run North fully, nigga. Bro, you crazy, bro. For the whole city. Crazy, bro. Now, pound side pop cannot ban Meek Mill from Philly. And I do think that it's super ignorant that here is Meek Mill trying to say, please, guys, stop the violence. He's just trying to use his influence to say, stop the violence, man. There's like a rapper from Brooklyn being like, hey, I'm going to get all y'all niggas a deal from Brooklyn if you stop beefing, right? Meek Mill is just trying to do the same thing. Uh, and niggas is like, no, fuck no, we ain't trying to hear that. We rather just shoot each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just it's stupid on all levels. But hey, Shout out to Meek, Meek Mill for trying at least, right? Um, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Yeah, don't think I know. Yeah, my little nigga put your bitch ass out the hood. Don't think I don't know. Nigga, I be in your hood every other day, nigga. You never there, nigga. On God, nigga. Don't fuck, do not fuck with you in your own hood, bitch ass nigga. You should jump on another team stop claiming your own shit, nigga. How you go from your own guy to somebody? Shit. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. your fat ass on, nigga. Before I smack the fuck at you, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. Put your motherfucking chains back, nigga. You should say shit. You should be the last motherfucker. Fat ass, nigga. Put your bitch ass on somewhere. Fat ass, nigga. Always dick pulling too. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Lame ass shit on somewhere, bitch. Don't go buy that broke ass nigga some chains. Fat ass. Still living in motherfucking East Memphis, broke ass. Alright, Joe, so that was a clip of Lil Migo, right? And not the Migos, a Lil Migo. He's one person, right? I mean, he signed to Yo Gotti, CMG Cocaine Music Group, and also Heavy Camp, which is Black Youngster's record label, right? Now, Yo Gotti and Black Youngster, they've been beefing with Young Dolph for a very long time. Now, uh, Lil Migo is actually talking shit and dissing Key Glock. Key Glock is a young nigga who signed to Young Dolph. So basically, I think that, you know, just because Yo Gotti is beefing with Young Dolph, Little Migo decides he wants to beef with Key Glock because my big homie is beefing with your big homie, so we gonna beef together, right? That's the nature of their beef. It's sad because really and truly these two men uh, you know, Key Glock and Lil Migo probably do not have any real beef with each other, but they do now, right? So here's Lil Migo talking mad shit about Key Glock on Instagram. After he talks all that shit, calls a Key Glock a snitch and everything like that, he goes on his Insta story. He goes, Key Glock, you a bitch. I got a hundred thousand. You ain't going to do a show in my city heavy camp right then he screenshots a conversation that key glock allegedly had saying that he's gonna take little migo's chain right and then he said when your fa when your whole ass favorite rapper nigga say keep my name in his mouth uh he's a dick sucker uh why don't you go get your chains back first bitch before you worry about my chains y'all done donated chain 10 chains to the streets right um key glock responds key glock is like nigga i got two hundred thousand dollars that i will beat your ass yeah, little Migo responds and says, nigga, I make that 400000 You feel me? So you see the pattern here, right? Because this young nigga's beefing about stupid shit, just like what happened with Quando Rondo and King Von, right? So this can get nasty because all of these dudes is from Memphis, right? Uh, Key Glock is from Memphis. Uh, little Migo's from Memphis. Young Dolph is from Memphis. Black Youngster, Yo Gotti, uh, uh, Money Back Yo. All these niggas are from Memphis and they all beefing, right? Right? Well, both camps are beefing with each other, so it's a little crazy. Ultimately, 
Key Glock said, listen, I got $50,000 for anybody who will find some paperwork on me since the nigga Little Migo said I'm a snitch. I got $50,000 for y'all. Then Little Migo produces paperwork, right? But not of Key Glock snitching. He produced paperwork of one of Key Glock's homies uh, writing a statement because he ended up getting shot by somebody who tried to take his chain, right? Allegedly, allegedly, we don't even know if this dude really is one of Key Glock's homies because his government name is on the paper, not a street name, so we don't really know, right? Um, but it probably is, it could be, right? But the whole situation is that they just been going back and forth, and at the end of the day, Little Migo really seems to be very upset about this, and he's like, fuck you pussy ass nigga, Little Migo seems like he wants to do something, right? On the other hand, Key Glock seems like it's all funny to him, and he's kind of laughing at it, and he also, on his Instagram, he was live, and he was like, yo, please go follow Key Glock, uh, please go follow Little Migo, he needs to follow us, right? And he was even on his live, Key Glock, was thanking little Migo, like, thank you, little Migo, for putting the fire behind me. Thank you for motivating me. And then he got like, dropped a new song yesterday. So it seems like he's using the beef to like hype him up to drop new music while little Migo is is, is getting crazy because Lil Migo also said, nigga, I've been in the game for six months and, and look at me, I'm hot. You've been in the game for five years, bitch. Like, Lil Migo was on one, right? Um, So hopefully this doesn't end badly uh, like a lot of crazy ass shootings have been going down lately in hip hop. But uh, let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Follow me at Johnny Fastlane on Instagram and y'all already know what to do. Peace.